Emergency Committee. It's the most expensive pair of ski goggles ever. Apple unveiled their latest innovation this week, a virtual reality headset, which will retail at three and a half thousand dollars. But could it be another paradigm shift in technology which will change our lives just as the iPhone did back in 2007? Well, Dan Sodergren is a digital marketing and tech expert. Dan, we know that virtual reality has been around for years. What's new about this? Good morning. Uh, yeah, well, a, a the, the Apple Vision Pro, as it's known, uh, is much more like everything in one. So it's certainly not uh, virtual reality. This is actually augmented reality rather than just virtual reality. And it pretty much combines everything that Apple already do into one amazing, as you say, very expensive pair of ski goggles. Uh, I think it's a little bit deeper than that. So you, you think <laughs> they look like, like ski goggles. They do. They do look like ski goggles. So from a kind of ready player one kind of mode, you can do a tremendous amount. I mean, this is really more about the future of work. But what was really interesting, actually, was the fact that Apple, unlike Google, Google mentioned AI 48 times in their announcements. Apple didn't mention AI once. And what's really interesting, though, is the, the chip inside this amazing headset, which is why it's worth so much money, uh, that actually can run artificial intelligence. So it's powerful enough to do artificial intelligence. And the reason why I talk about this is because not only because I just read a book called The AI Advantage, but also an AI marketing course called Cody UK. But that's the next jump. That next jump you talked about is artificial intelligence. The ability to have all augmented reality with artificial intelligence in it that's that's the exciting bit this is much more about business and the future of work and being able to spatially see data uh, than it is actually just about being on your sofa watching a massive cinematic experience i mean don't get me wrong it also has surround sound and all these other things so it's uh, it's, a, it's a quite amazing piece of kit right you mentioned augmented reality there now lots of us will understand virtual reality you put on a headset and you're immersed in this other world maybe playing games or whatever what's mm -hmm. augmented reality Reality. What, what makes that different? So augmented reality is you put on the same uh, bit of kit, but you're still seeing the world around you. Yeah, but the world around you is augmented with the data that's put on top of it. So, for example, instead of having, I don't know, a mobile screen, you'd be able to have the screen in front of you. You could pick the different games. And this clever bit of kit tracks where, tracks where your eyes are going, so you don't need to have a mouse or anything. And you can select it just by moving your hands. So it puts a digital layer on front of the real-world layer. Now, the reason why this is exciting in the future of work, if you can imagine it, I don't know, you could be doing things with maths. You could be doing things in, in agriculture, for example, and look over a field and it would give you all the data from the crops. It's this kind of level of understanding. This is the future of work thing. Or you could be we're doing AI with your flock and team dynamics. You could literally be using this bit of kit, look over there, and you can actually see the different kind of personality types that your co-fellow workers. You know, it, it gives you an extra layer of information that you don't normally have and you wouldn't normally have as a human being. So augmented reality kind of gives you a almost a special superpower, which is most probably why they're charging so much for this bit of kit. But could you really see people walking down the street with a augmented reality headset strapped to their face. Well, I had an augmented reality company 15 years ago, and we were kind of hoping this would be the case and that Apple would make its move. It has done now, uh, very, very late in the market and done it in an amazing way. I don't think you'd see people walking around, but you will see people, as Theo Priestley from Scotland, an AI specialist from Scotland, he was saying the other day, the first place you're going to see these are things like in airlines and in business class and in very high-end tech companies. Because, of course, Apple make very expensive products for very rich people first, and then, of course, it will trickle down to the rest of us. Um, but I don't think you'll be seeing people walking around this. Also, the other reason is it's only got a two-hour um, kind of battery life, so it also has a tethering pack as well, so uh, and, a, and a cord. So this is very much static use at the moment. But of course, in the future, in yeah. the future, you might well see people. I hope we don't, because that sounds like a kind of <laughs> weird dystopic kind of future where people are not enjoying real life. But <laughs> I'm hoping this is more about work well, uh, than it is about. Could, pain. could it be more like mobile phones? I mean, we look back and laugh at these clunky mobile phones of the past, which were the size of suitcases. Could it be that this pair? of goggles in the future might just be a pair of glasses. Well, it, exactly, you're exactly right. That's exactly what it'll be in the future. And that's exactly why Apple's making the big play now. And it's kind of owning the market space. And then, of course, it'll get better and better and better. And just like you mentioned before, it's a bit like with phones, isn't it? Nokia didn't see, you know, everyone saw the Apple phones too expensive. This bit of kit seven times more than the other ones that are out there, which are VR rather than AR. But, of course, Apple will make it better and better and better. And if you start looking at the patents they're doing, yeah, that is the future. And it gets better and better and better. Whether we should do that as a society, I think that's a much deeper point because there are worries 
is that having this augmented layer there all the time could start affecting our brains. But let's not let's not worry about that. <laughs> yes. Let's just think about the positives rather than the negatives. It's an amazing bit of kit. It's most probably the future of. Computer.